I also got GameSpot's review on Super Mario Wonders against the video. Whether Nintendo intended it or not, Conventional right, let's see what they think, man. Tends to sort modern Mario games into a mental tier list. The 3D Mario. And then games after this, we got uh, IGN's Odyssey review. The flagship so we also got both reviews today. And 2D Mario games like the new Super Mario Bros. series are somewhat lesser retro throwbacks. Still good, dependable but less prestigious. It's I after mean, 20 years of 2D games languishing in understudy status I mean, but they Super can... Mario Bros. Wonder takes center stage, and it delivers such a knockout But, bro, they deliver every single time, bro. That 2D Mario games can be just as vital to the medium as their 3D siblings. Agreed. Agreed. 20 hours played, okay. Switch OLED, okay. Okay, cool. Was it Steven, right? In essence, the wonder effects that lend Mario Wonder its title can be likened to the planetoids of Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. A simple hook that gave stage designers carte blanche to be as inventive and strange as they'd like, constantly reinventing but that's, mechanics yeah, that's and what, like, creates like, expectations. Like the, fun. the result, once again, is a game filled to the brim with delightful little surprises, like unwrapping a series of gifts made just for you, the discerning fan of Mario Platform. And a color. I love the color bro it's so like addictive like Mario to the eyes pals are visiting prince florian of the neighboring flower kingdom who's keen to show off his kingdom's greatest treasure the wonder flower but bowser crashes the diplomatic event uh -oh. and steals the wonder flower transforming himself into a living floating castle that towers over the kingdom bowser and corrupts everything inside the exact scientific effects of wonder flowers are never properly explained but we get the gist well enough it changes reality in huge Often unexpected yep, ways. Mario and drugs. That story premise effectively writes Nintendo <laughs> Literally. a blank check for creativity, allowing any flight of fancy to take place for exactly as long or short as it needs to find the fun. In doing so, it recaptures the unpredictable, dreamlike logic. Bro, it just looks so fun, bro. Like, look at so this, bro. Memorable. One you're like you're like you can't die spinning your way through a traditional super mario stage and the next you may be transformed into a goomba and hiding from carnivorous creatures Gumba. that eat goombas or seeing yourself only in silhouette or bouncing along to a rhythmic dance some of these are genuinely challenging while others that are played as a cute joke that provide a quick breather you never quite know what's coming next yeah true ah look at this bro like bro this looks so like Fun. You can just run through it, bro. Very occasionally, a wonder effect will repeat itself, but this is typically an effect that can support multiple stages. Yeah. One memorable exception is very early in the game when two bull rush stages follow closely after each other. I will yeah. admit I felt a little nervous at the repetition coming so early in the game. Luckily, that fear abated I mean, as I explored further and came across I don't across think the repetition is really a very bad thing, especially when it comes to a Mario games. The variety is aided by the new setting. Which also grants the opportunity to come up with like this looks fun of new enemies. This looks really fun. I can't lie. We get the return of familiar favorites like Goombas and Boos, along with loads of inventive new additions like Condots, Hoppy Cats, Mumsies, and many more. What's most surprising is that despite the new enemy types and constant sense of surprise, Mario Wonder never loses its identity as a Mario game. The Obviously. platforming is as sharp as ever, and the level design functions as a great Mario game, even when you choose not to. Pick up I like how they didn't like. I like how craftsmanship of the level design. This game is different, but it's touches, not different from like just it being a Mario game. It's always going to be a Mario flowers game. Flowers will make its petals flutter. But I respect that wind, everything's different. Awarding you with coins while also subtly drawing your eye toward points of interest. The handful of new power-ups similarly fit right into Mario canon. The True. headliner is the elephant power-up, which makes Mario and his friends jumbo just in a, sized just like basically indestructible. Strength and the ability to spray water with their basically he's a tank now. Basically. Power up, which lets you trap enemies or create poppable platforms to jump on, feels like such a simple, done well concept that it could have existed in Mario for years. True. My personal favorite was the drill suit, which lets you dig okay. underground. Or I even can't wait to try this because this actually looks pretty cool. That's a cool feature. Up under an enemy 
or near a hard I've never seen item. that before. All of this would be the strongest outing for a 2D Mario game in years, but then Mario Wonder builds even more on top of it. A wide array of Mario's cast of characters are playable, letting you play as Mario, Luigi, Bro, Peach, you can play Daisy, as a lot of people. Blue Toad, Toadette, several Yoshis, and Nabbit. Bro, I was surprised when they showed up this, bro. You can play as a lot of people, bro. Damage, making them good starter characters without needing to default to a menu option or turning on easy mode for younger kids. Yeah, I would say However, Yoshi's I Mario's think Yoshi's like without their trade for like easy mode, right? I think I don't think Yoshi can die in, Mario in this one. Two, which may throw some longtime fans for a loop. Luigi lacks his high reaching flutter jump and Peach can't float jump. Playing as these characters without those movement abilities felt a little off, and this does have the effect of I mean, flattening each character into an identical place. I understand. There is no actual gameplay difference between, say, Toad and Luigi. In place of distinct uh, characters, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they have like, per like these Mario perks, right? Or these a badges. Equipment system. This is As like you a can equip a floating high jump badge that emulates the flutter jump, for example. And so I think that's why they didn't give like Peach, uh, Peach and Luigi like you know like their badges own thing that they usually have, just because they have like these badges as like a replacement. Behavior in some notable ways. So I think that All makes boost sense. Boost badges give you some passive benefit. Rare expert badges change the game in significant, challenging ways with bigger gameplay effects than the other two varieties. Altogether, these create a playground of different styles that you can customize to your liking. Some badges come down to personal preference, and there's usually one or two that will make a stage easier, but you can also challenge yourself by replaying with a badge that makes the stage even harder. The customization does come with one important caveat. In local co-op, you can only equip one badge at a time for all characters, which means you have to commit to a single play style. I mean, it's power. only fair this though, right? It's only fair. I feel like if you give everybody badges, the, the game will be too, too easy. To online multiplayer in my opinion, in my opinion, because I'm not dying. You can each equip your I'm not about to be a liability. To your preferences or even brainstorm creative combinations. This was Given fire. That, it's strange that, was that fire. local co-op feels comparatively hampered. In fact, the online multiplayer in Super Mario Bros. Wonder is thoughtful and well designed. That looks throughout. fire, you bro. Lobby and play you can play against like together, other people, but like you can't you like do interfere. Join the same bro. Stage, oh you can work on conquering it together or triggering That's a speed fire, bro. To complete the course first. That online thing is like definitely surprised me. That Mario has traditionally fallen short. And as well crafted as the online multiplayer is, the standout for me was the suite of new online features that enhance the experience even when you're playing solo. You have access to standees, and collecting these is one use of the in-game coin economy. You can lay down one standee anywhere in a stage, and then your standee will populate into other players' games. You can also use this to drop a hint about hidden secrets, or just provide a respite to other players. That's because if you die in a stage, you turn into a ghost, and can revive yourself by touching a nearby standee. So it behooves you to leave standees and helpful that's places. That's fire. I did not know that. Get touched, that's fire. Hard points to show what a helpful player That's nice. You are. <laughs> Playing while connected to the internet also means you'll sometimes see the shadows of other players wandering through the stage, that's which fun. can I like assist that. you in figuring out a tricky platforming puzzle. This is best exemplified in the new search party You stages. can like you can Play copy the homework. Five hidden coins. The standees and shadows can help point you in the right direction, making for an asynchronous puzzle-solving experience that feels great. Search party is one of several new stage types that mix up Wait, the traditional. So if I'm stuck on a puzzle stages, and I don't know how to do it, I could just copy the homework. Challenge. KO Arena and Nice, I like that. All of these different stage types are littered through an overworld that lets you freely roam to discover secrets and mostly take on the stages in any order you choose. The whole world feels alive and engaging, encouraging exploration and replay. And I like, I like how like he can just like go to whatever one he wants as like kind of like like a uh, like a free roam type and thing. Then, there's a surprising level of craft and care put into the presentation. Even the visually dull new Super Mario Bros. series has looked pretty solid, but oh, Super Mario Bros. It looks so looks shiny and colorful. It looks like candy. With attention paid to <laughs> facial expressions and animations, along with backgrounds <laughs> and stage elements with bright confectionery colors that pop right off the screen. That is, though, that's what I just said, bro. It's like everything was so bright and colorful. I love that. I'll tell you all the time in like the trailer reactions, bro. I love color, bro. I love color. 
Super Mario Bros. Wonder is a bold choice for a name. It plants a flag in the ground that suggests anything less than a constant sense of awe and delight will be a failure by its own terms. But then surprisingly, Mario Wonder rises to the challenge and the result is a modern classic. The yeah. Wonder effects are the marquee feature and for good reason, as they serve as a springboard for a cornucopia of creativity. But it's the smart and thoughtful choices around new power-ups, badges, online multiplayer, and visual flair that And I can't wait to play Mario online, bro. Cap. That's what I'm most excited this for, I'll be honest. This is the rightful successor to Super Mario World, and hopefully will serve as a touchstone for 2D Mario going forward. They're giving it a 9? You know what? I haven't played, but as I'm looking at it, bro, it looks fire, bro. I might have to give it a 9 2 already. Already. Oh, listen. I know I'm kind of copying the homework right now, but listen. Shout out to Steve Watts for the review, man. Um, I I've said everything I needed to say during the video and, uh, and, and, you know, in previous videos. I cannot wait to play this game, bro. Uh, number one, it looks, it, it looks like an original, you know, just Mario game. Uh, you know, obviously, minus like, you know, the badges and uh, everything else new about the game, you know, obviously, because it's a new game. It looks like a standard Mario game, and honestly, I haven't played a Mario game in a long time. So, uh, this game would definitely, you know, replace um, the time that I missed playing a Mario game, bro. Because uh, I, you know, I grew up on, I grew up, you know, playing, you know, a two D Mario game, you know, on. Uh, oh my God, what did I have back then? I think I had a, uh, I had a Game Boy, right? And I used to play. I forgot which one it was, but I had a Game Boy, and I used to play this Mario racing game. I don't know if it was Mario Kart. I don't know what game it was, but it was this Mario racing game I used to have on the Game Boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. It, it was... Bro I, used to, <laughs> bro, I used to play that thing, bro, I, uh, on the bus going to like... Oh, man. Oh, man. Listen, Mario has always been a part of my life, man. I will always love Mario. Looking at this game, it looks absolutely fire. I told you guys on um, the last video, bro, I love how colorful it looks. That's the number one thing that I'm just attracted to. The color, bro. And obviously, like, the whole, like, wonder thing. Well, as I said, Mario on drugs. Because as soon as you get, like, the little wonder thing, the, everything turns upside down. And, like, you know, next thing you know, you know, you're, you're just running. You got these bulls running under you. Then everything is flying up. Like, it, it's just a bunch of chaos. But I like it, though. I, I like it. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the video? There's other videos on the screen right now. Make sure you guys click on those if you guys did enjoy this one. See you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And...